How was our upbringing different? How? Oh, well, the fact you said was rather than were. <laughs> How was our upbringing different, you fucking mom? <laughs> Hello, I'm the Honourable Tom Horton, and I live in the Tower of London. And I'm Elliot Still, and I do not live in the Tower of London because my parents are not aristocracy. Do you know what aristocracy means? I know what aristocracy means, <laughs> even though I went to a state school. Yeah, this is a class war already. <laughs> yeah, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> why, why don't you start? The natural hierarchy <laughs> takes its place. <laughs> Elliot, do you think I treat people differently because of my upbringing? Absolutely. Do you remember when we were in Edinburgh, yeah? Don't tell that story. No, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and when, um, Can I drink to shut him up? <laughs> this guy came up to me and Tom, and uh, he was having a cigarette, and he went, where are you guys from? And he went, eh, privilege? <laughs> like that, to a homeless guy. <laughs> in my defence, I was straight off oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just, we'll just do it. <laughs> I am... Oh, no, no. I'm selling you under the bus for the rest of it now. <laughs> Honourable Thomas Horton, from your perspective, how is our upbringing different? How? Oh, well, the fact you said was rather than were. <laughs> how was our upbringing different, you fucking mum? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? How was our upbringing different? I know not to use the word mum. That's true. Uh, I, um, I lived in Northern Ireland on an army barracks because my dad oversaw the British Army at the time of the Troubles. Fucking hell. And we had, um, we had to have bodyguards and armour plated vehicles whenever we left. Did it make you feel safe having all those bodyguards and stuff? I didn't really know what was going on. No, because you're I just, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like 12, so I was like, oh, this graffiti's cool. <laughs> it, just says, it just says IRA and you're thinking it's a band. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most judgmental thing you've thought about rich people? Nothing bad, I just call them Tories, things like that. It's nothing cursed. Do you actually hate Tories? Yes and no. In my family, genuinely, and this isn't just a class thing, if I voted Conservative, I'd be in a lot of trouble. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That being said, I don't believe the Conservatives win every year because they just lie to people and evil. I think they give benefits to people. I wouldn't personally vote for that, and that's as nice as I can be about it. Cool, let's do a shot. <laughs> Cheers. What did you think of me when we first met? I thought you were obnoxious. You hadn't yet sort of learned when to sort of pick the battle, battles of just being yeah, a dick. Yeah, yeah. I had like this chip on my shoulder of like, fuck you, do you know what I mean? You're not better than me. It was kind of like a thing where I, I didn't know where I fit in. And you have that a lot growing up, I find like coming from, like if you've gone to state school or you come from somewhere like Fort and Heath, sometimes you feel you've got to be hard or you've got to be this to give, give yourself a feeling of worth. I see what you mean. Lots of my friends are so sort of separated and snobbish and they look down on people. Because we were always told, oh, you know, don't talk to the people in the town. They're not the people you associate with. Is it me? It's yeah. me. Uh, do you feel sorry for me for any reason? No. Likewise. Yeah, Oh. Have you ever had an experience that you think I wouldn't be able to comprehend? Slash. Believe. No, because you know me so well that I think I could go, I was literally doing cocaine off Prince Andrew's tortoise the other day. <laughs> that tortoise is older than anything is of a fuck. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Have you ever been sexually attracted to me? And does the money make any difference? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, at all say there's been uh, sexual attraction stuff, but I do, I do look up to you in a lot of ways, yeah. but there's, there's never been a... Oh, a I chose that, I chose that. Oh, shit. Hey, Tom, why don't you name three similarities between us? Because you're from an upper-class background. I'm from a sort of low middle class, working class background. Well, it's funny you'd mention that, Elliot, actually, because I feel like human emotion Emotion it's transcends class. Transcended, yeah. It's like no matter where you're from, you can always find ways to connect with other people. Do you yes. know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I think, I, think the thing, thing, I think the important thing we've learned today is we actually get on. Despite our differences. Despite our differences. This has been fun. Oh, my mum's gonna watch this. My mum is not going <laughs> to watch this. Buy the truth or drink game now. You definitely don't want to miss out on this. It's a f blast.